Good Minecraft morning and welcome back to another Adults Play Minecraft SMP with your host Zeba. We are here just checking out the windmill from last time and I'm pretty pleased with that. It looks pretty awesome. I'm so glad that I spent the time to, to do that. So today what we're going to be doing is working on some base modifications and we're going to be implementing some uh, techniques that I used in the last tutorial that I posted. You can check out the link right up there. I can't turn and look up that direction. Can I look up that direction? Not really. But uh, the link that pops up there, check out that video if you'd like uh, for some shulker loaders. And we're going to use those to benefit this farm here. And we've been clearing this out just a little bit so that we can actually work on what we're going to be doing most of today. So stick around and see what happens here. Last time we had all this cleared out and so now we're starting to put in a nice little area for our beehives and the beehives are going to go right there above the dispensers and there'll be some water sources coming this direction to channel them all towards the middle. Underneath we'll put some mine carts so that we can actually gather those up and gather them up off the stairs in case they do get stuck on there. And so those dispensers are going to be cutting either honeycombs on this side and honey bottles on the other side. And so we definitely need those mine carts to make sure we gather up all those items through there. And that will feed directly into our auto loading system. But first we're going to go ahead and finish decorating this top portion. Okay, we ran out of acacia wood, so we're going to go actually purchase some rather than trying to mine our own or harvest our own. So this says one diamond for three stacks. So there's one, two, and three, and it looks like, oh no, I'm out of room. So I need to find another shulker box real fast. Let's see, I know there's an empty one in here somewhere. Maybe I don't have one. Let's see, there's bound to be an empty one. There it is, okay, I knew I had one empty one in there, so we're just gonna toss that stuff down for right now so we can fill up this shulker box. And this will be perfect. Yeah, fit all this acacia wood in here. Let's go ahead and purchase the rest of this too um, while we're here so we don't have to come back for any more. So it should give us quite a bit. Let's see, we'll put one more diamond in even though there's only a stack of 20. That's okay, we don't mind donating a little bit more and acacia logs and acacia leaves. I don't think I need the leaves, so let's go ahead and grab some logs. Okay, before we head back, actually, let's go check out spawn a little bit more. I've heard there's a lot of cool stuff happening over by the tree, so let's go take a look at our Christmas tree. It's right over there, I can't remember where I'm going, and I'm having such a hard time flying in this particular update. It's been uh, it's been very difficult. I'm not sure I can't take off. So this is our um, our Christmas tree with all the Secret Santa gifts and look at all those gifts. It looks amazing. We're just gonna come over and find ours. I think it's over in this direction there. And look at all that, all the blocks of redstone. It's awesome. So glad to have this. So we're gonna go ahead and take this because we can use it for our projects. I guess it's okay to take it. I I think it's okay to take it. I um I'm gonna take it. I I. Sorry, if I'm not supposed to take it, I'm going to take it anyway, though. <laughs> okay, so let's head back to the house and uh, start on the next part of the project. If we can take off, if we can just come on. <laughs> oh, my goodness. All right, <laughs> let's try this again. I have such a hard time flying. So let's get over here. There we go. Okay, we got a pretty neat little design going on here. I'm not sure how these guys are going to work, but I just felt like uh, the solid blocks were a little bit too thick and covering up too much of this area. I kind of want to be able to see the bees work a little bit, and so that'll be kind of nice, so we'll have to modify that if we need to. Let's go ahead and sleep real quick. We are almost finished with this project. So right down, we've got the um, minecarts kind of running through here, and I'm just filling in these gaps, putting some lighting in down here. This line, anytime the dispenser fires, basically, this line will send a signal all the way over there, which will fire off this cart, It'll collect anything that's on the stairs here, and then it goes down this way, collects anything under the water channel, and then it comes back over here right now as a temporary solution, stops until I empty it out. I'll make an automatic, automatic system sometime. I'm not sure where I want it to be just yet. Ha <laughs> ha, be just yet. But that'll kind of work that way. So what we've got going on is, again, let's go take a look at the redstone on the backside. We've got our beehives set in the walls here. You can't see them from here, unfortunately, but if you maneuver around a little bit, you can look at them. And I'll add in more, uh, probably on this side, and just expand this as I need to. 
um, as I see how it's producing and everything. But yep, right down here is all the redstone trickeriness. You see the beehives in here. And so again, they're getting a signal. And that signal has to reach five blocks um, whenever that thing is full. So when it's full, it's only five blocks long. So I've got this comparator actually set to four. So these guys won't fire off anything until this actually exceeds that. And then it should fire down there and use the dispenser with the shears to catch the honeycombs or to collect the honeycombs. And so I left these gaps in here so I can come and fill them in with uh, dispensers once I make enough dispensers. Uh, but yeah, it seems to be working just fine. This last one here is a little bit of an oddball. It doesn't have a pair over there yet. Um, and so, yep, that's how this is working. And I need to put the beehive in here. But I want to make sure and cover all these with some glass. You never know if those bees escape or not. So we'll do that right there. And yeah, this is pretty nice access to this. And again, I'm just using the little item frames over here. Uh, and I think I'm still toying with how many pulses these are, but they seem to be working. And so I think it should just be one, two, three. That should be sending out three, four, might, maybe one more. <laughs> I'm not sure. I'm going to have to toy around with it and see. Uh, but we'll play around with that and make sure that they're, the honeycombs are being collected. Yeah. But the bees, are they seem to be happy. They're doing their thing. They keep getting caught on this uh, half slab here. So I might need to change that up and do something different with it. But yeah, I'm pretty pleased with how this is turning out so far. Let me finish up the rest of it and clean up the sides and we'll see you in a second. We've gone ahead and finished most of this side. We're just putting in the uh, spots where I can put in the dispensers down there and the hives above them. And so we're almost done with this side as well. And so I just need to find a way to get all the redstone down here and get it all ticking and working. I grabbed some lights real fast and I'm gonna light this area up. We got all the redstone put in and all the beehives put in. Everything is situated over here properly. The only thing I haven't done is ran the mine carts underneath this, and I'm not going to do that right now. I need to take a break. There are a lot of people streaming today, too. I want to hop on and enjoy the streams a little bit and interact with some of the fellow Adults Play Minecraft Network people. But let me show you a little bit, and then we'll let the bees in this area and bone mill up some of this grass and stuff, and so it'll be nice and neat. But, yep, that's... That's what's happening so far. We got all these over here, just like on the opposite side over there. So I think we are safe at this point to remove this glass. So let's go ahead and get our extra silky smooth. And we will remove all this glass and the bees should be okay. They shouldn't get caught. I've seen some of them hovering up here like this. He tends to chill there for just a little bit. Uh, I think he's waiting on these spots to fill up or something, and then he'll pop down and, and go into there. He doesn't stay there the whole time, though. Thank goodness. And so I haven't seen any more get caught on anything, so let's clear all this glass out. Let's uh, populate a little bit more. We don't want to put too much. And let's just see. we got so many people chatting. It's awesome to see them up there chatting. <laughs> all right, there we go. So let's grab some flowers here, get rid of all those. And here... Here, 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 and we will start planting some over here a little bit better, and then we'll feed these guys up. Come here, you. There's one, and there's another one. I don't know how many more bees I really need in this area, but I like to have them. I just don't want to cause any lag or anything, so we'll see what happens here. Get some more flowers out like that. I definitely need to grab some blue in here. We could use some blue flowers around this area here. All right, and just some grass to make it look nice and neat here. Boop, boop. Grass, flowers, flowers, boop. Yeah, this is looking sweet. I like this. And let's make you one taller there. Let's go ahead and make some more over here. Like that, get everything kind of nice and flourishing. We are down below the bee farm, and we went ahead and laid out a couple areas here where we're going to start sorting all of these items. Uh, we went ahead and completed the rail carts on both sides that collect all the items. They currently stop here and right over there. And let's see, it looks like there's one over here. As you can see, we got 15 honey bottles in here, and send that back over there. Uh, we'll create an automated system in just a little bit, but right now we're working on the item sorting system. It also connects right over here to our hopper line. 
from our farm. And so, yep, we got tons of carrots. So we are pretty full on all this stuff. Uh, so we definitely need to start sorting that real soon. And what we're going to do, run the sorters here and then run right into the um, shulker loading system. Yep, and so this is going to be pretty awesome in here. We're going to get busy on this. Well, we ended up doing a ton of stuff off camera, so I'm down here with the bees real quick. They, most of them are still sleeping, I think. Looks like we got a little honeycomb stick up here. And I'm going to take you guys downstairs to show you what all we've done. Okay, and over there, I think I've showed you before how all, all that turned out. We've got our stuff. We did some decorating, and we completed our auto storage system. Yay! Let's take a look over here first. Oh, what's going on, Wandering Traders? Man, oh man, these guys are everywhere. Excuse me. So we um, got rid of all the chests that had all of the um, items in it from the farms, the carrots and potatoes and crop farms and stuff. And I actually had to build these up so that I can get all of them from those chests. I had about four chests worth completely filled up. Uh, so this was the quickest way to get that done, to send them up here to the hopper line, into the sorting system. Nope, oh, get up there. Into the sorting system here that actually runs, and I spaced them out uh, so that they can run properly into my auto shulker storage. And so all of these are filling up with stuff. I don't think I've gotten enough of these guys yet, but I do have enough carrots. Yep, two full shulkers of carrots, one full shulker of beetroot so far filtered through, and one of potatoes. I'm pretty certain we've probably got a few more coming in through. And then we have our disposal storage over there, which I have not connected to any kind of uh, disposal system yet, simply because with the amount of items I was flowing through there, really overloaded the system a lot and so some things i think we're probably getting tossed over there uh but yeah so this is looking real nice i'm going to decorate this wall make it look a lot cleaner but yeah all this is looking really good so these little guys will kick off whenever um an item oh yeah it's not completely lost less but that's okay i don't really mind we get plenty so it doesn't cost us anything so as soon as these guys click on and the dispensers use um their items then this guy will go through and pick them all up, and he just goes over there. And right now, I just haven't set up to uh, to run off of these, and we got to get rid of these llamas over here, man. Uh, so he's just running over those and going right back, and so he's not dropping all of his eyes, most of them. And then eventually, once uh, I clear out the rest of this area and start decorating more, I will add in like a little auto unloader area for those mine carts. But that's it, and so I'm really pleased with how this turned out. This is looking so good. I love the upstairs too with the bees. You can watch them, you can hang out with them. So this is like a fantastic. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Consider subscribing to my channel and we'll catch you on the next one.